Hey guys, so just to bring it back to the last episode, if you don't know where to get your AWS access and secret keys, then literally just Google it. It's your first result and you'll find it if you do a little bit of reading. But to bring it back to today's episode, we're going to talk about Carrier Wave. And Carrier Wave is a gem that makes uploading images to cloud storage is really, really easy. So what you're seeing now is really the repository for Carrier Wave. And you can see how it's installed, how to get started, and you can see that it does use other gems in order to make this work, like Mini Magic and Fog. And if we go back to our our folder, you can see that well, indeed, we have Fog installed and our Mini Magic installed, and we have the gem Carrier Wave installed. So you would put those gems or type out those gems in your gem file and run bundle install to get them up and running. So the next thing I want to do is we got to make our, uh, our, our uploader. So what you want to do is you want to go to your project, run rails, generate uploader avatar. And this will generate some files for you. Really, it's going to generate an avatar uploader uh, file, and it would really be used to configure everything. Also, if you're wondering where I'm getting that from, well, it's right over here. Rails generate uploader avatar. So really, they give a really nice walkthrough for you to, to teach you what you got to do. So the next thing you got to do is you're going to go to your avatar uploader file and you can see that there's already some predefined code in there. What you want to do is you want to uncomment some of that code. So let's just take a look at what we need to uncomment. Well, we need to uncomment this mini magic in order to use it. And what that does is mini magic basically makes it possible for us to have different versions of our uploaded files and where right now we're not going to use file, we're just going to use storage fog because we're going to be uploading to a, uh, a cloud storage or more specifically AWS. And these different versions, the thumb we're going to have, and we're going to have some more versions. That's that's why we need the mini magic. We're going to have a thumb version, a small version, and a medium version. And this resize to fit and quality is what the mini magic uh, gem would actually help us do and we're going to uncomment this extension whitelist so that's really all we need to do in this file but we need to do next is we need to find some way to actually use this uploader file so where we're gonna use this is we're gonna use this in our org contacts and we're gonna all we need to type here is we need to type mount uploader avatar uh, avatar uploader. Now why is it this file? Well remember that our org contact file, if we go into our database, is the only file that has the not, it's not in this table that has the avatar avatar column so in order to use this you need an avatar column because it's saving to the avatar column so that's where that that's what the avatar column is used for um, other than that that we're pretty much good so what you want you to do now because we made a lot of changes we we added a uh, avatar uploader in our providers and right now we need to restart our we need to restart our server so you just do a control c and you run rails s again in order for our app to actually know that okay we have a up avatar uploader file that was made and we're going to use that in our org contacts model so i'm just going to leave it here in the next episode we're actually going to set up our Amazon, uh, our Amazon buckets in order to know where to upload our, our images. So sit tight. Uh, please rate, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Leave any questions or comments in that box below. And I'll see you guys next time.